yummy breakfasts and stuff. It's right downtown historic Angels Camp. Um, we wanted to take a minute and just tell you guys kind of like I guess what happened. Why we didn't film as much this week as we planned on. We were really trying to go for it and film a bunch. Different stuff and just every, get out and do it. Yeah, every other day and whatever. So our sweet Luna, our dog, who you guys have met Anybody who watches our, our videos has met Luna. Um, we had a very unfortunate incident three, four days ago now. On Father's Day. It was on Father's Day. So we were headed to go visit my father-in-law and to visit my dad and stuff like that. And our sweet baby, after we had just taken her outside, and then she wanted to go back out. So we let her out really quick. And then, like, what, 15 feet from our door. Yeah. Real, real close to the house, way too close. We're on 20 acres, keep that in mind. So 15 feet from our door, two neighbor dogs who we had warned this owner about came and attacked our dog. And, um, I mean, we're just, we're still pretty broken up about it. Yeah, pretty she broken. definitely had some, some puncture wounds. and Some pretty deep puncture wounds that we have been doing wound care and anyways I, I, I mean it's, it's a pretty sad thing that we don't want to go on and on about it because we could sit here and cry about it but she's she's on the mend she's healing she's yeah so we had to be home with her we couldn't really go anywhere um so today's kind of the first day that we feel comfortable leaving her home alone she's healing up she's this thing this is the thing so we do want to talk about it a little bit more I forgot there's a couple of things we want to say number one this sweetheart has been going to the spot that it happened and just sitting there and staring at us like she just she cannot wrap her head around what happened to her in her safe space um, and that's the part that's really hard for us so we filed complaints we um, I mean we're doing everything we need to do here's the thing you guys please be responsible pet owners this owner of these dogs I don't no, not a responsible pet owner or person. And doesn't live in reality. Like, I see these people out trying to take selfies with buffalo and trying to take selfies with bear cubs. You know, come on. Like, there's a level of common sense that needs to be had in life. And dogs are dogs. So if you're not, if you're going to just, like, emotionally suck from your dogs and not and not be realistic about, about the fact that they are animals and just let them run loose and let them... Uh, I don't know. I'm just... I'm, I'm disgusted with the whole thing. You know, you, you've got to be realistic about animals and nature. And... Anyway. Yeah, domesticated or not, they are still animals. They are animals. They are not humans. They do not comprehend life like a human would. Okay, moving forward. Um, thank God she was not hurt worse. Or thank God it was not my mom's dog, who we have a lot. Or our, or other, dog, our other dog. Or Cletus. Because they are tiny and they would have been killed. Yeah. Um, please be a responsible pet owner. Okay. Anyways. So here we are. We're here for breakfast. We're here for breakfast. I have coffee. Aaron has um, water. He works graveyard, so he drinks a lot for coffee before morning time than I do. But cheers, baby. Um, we're going to show you guys around downtown Angels Camp. It's historic Angels Camp. We love this little town. It's our hometown. And, um, 
you know, we're going to show you guys some of our favorite little little things about it. If you're into old mining towns and you're into... It's very gold rushy. It's very gold rushy. There's gold panning nearby. Um, we've done Columbia. We've done Murphy's. We've done um, Arnold. So now we're doing Angel's Camp. And um, so we're going to eat breakfast. We'll show you guys the food that we get. This is our favorite little spot. So we wanted to show the menu. Um, they have so many good options, omelets, um, all of these amazing like hash brown. Pancakes, French toast, uh, yeah, like, um, I don't know what you call them, but hash browns with gravy and, and veggies and stuff. Which we show you guys in just a minute um, because that's what we got. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the name right now, but we say it in the upcoming portion of the vlog while we're in the restaurant. Chuck wagon. That's what it was called. Chuck wagon. They do so good. They do lunch. Yeah, here's the lunch menu. Such good food and great prices. Okay, so Aaron got... Honey, what was the name of our meal? Chuck wagon. Yes, we both got the chuck wagon, but Aaron got scrambled eggs. And... We will show you guys what the inside looks like when he takes a bite. And then I got over medium eggs. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. It's got hash browns and... <laughs> browns and veggies. Veggies, and it's covered in um, gravy. Yeah, so go ahead and take your first bite, baby. And he'll let us know if, if he gives it a two thumbs up or a... Two thumbs up. Always. Always. This place is just excellent. So, yeah, come check it out if you guys come to Angel's Camp. Oh, I got a little bit of French toast as well. I have a little bit of salsa um, that I'm going to mix into mine. And then my meat choice was bacon. So I'm going to see how this tastes. Oh, man. Look, I mean, it's hard to get everything you want on without making... Oh, I did get mushrooms. So I think you got mushrooms. Then. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My missing nails. By the way, I'm I'm letting go of the nails for a little bit, so you guys will see them falling coming off. I just need my fingernails to air out, but that was excellent. Two thumbs up. Okay, the first thing we're gonna show you guys. This is so funny, but this is real. Okay, it's called Chicken Ladder, and it's a historic site, circa 1886. We're gonna go up and film it. Um, Aaron has kind of the words to put with it to explain the situation. So we'll tell you guys once we get up there. But yes, we're going to check out Chicken Ladder. Yeah, so we got the Chicken Ladder here on the side, which is basically, um, you know, it's like a wooden sidewalk with uh, with raised slats, you know, for traction, because this hill is steeper than it looks. Um, you might be able to get a better vantage from the top, but. Or by us walking up it and you can hear how hard we breathe. That too. <laughs> But it's similar to what would be in a chicken coop that they get in and out of their little house, you know. Yeah, and so this was developed in 1886, oddly enough. It's so funny. I mean, let's go in and look so you guys can see here. I mean, it's, it's it, unfortunately, it's not been, like, cleaned up and kept up. But this is literally was put in so that people could get up this road. And you imagine, babe, this was put in before the pavement, I imagine. Yeah, probably. So I don't know what they did if they removed it and put it back. Oh no, there's no pavement under it. It's rock and whatever. Okay, go ahead, honey. Show them an example of... I mean... It's pretty steep. It's it's like, it, you know, think of San Francisco and... You'll, you'll kind of get a feel for how steep this is. But yeah, that's the chicken ladder, folks. Now we find ourselves at the Pickled Porch Cafe. It's, uh, it's newer to the area. Um, this building has been several things previous to this. Uh, most recently before the Pickled Porch, it was the Angels Camp Visitor Center. And now it is um, a pretty swanky little cafe. Also serves as a bus stop for Calaveras Transit. Okay, so we're going into my bar, which I give a little bit of explanation as to how many bars it has been. <laughs> um, but you guys will hear the locals once we get inside, just kind of giving me, giving me hell. While they're in line. Whenever you're in a bar, watch it, watch it. 
I'm a local, don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Hey, where is that? So we just walked into the local, it's called My Bar. They do a lot of karaoke there. Um, that bar has been there since we obviously were kids, but look at this cute little garden here. So pretty. Um, and it has changed ownership quite a few times. Um, this is the local little post office. I actually wanted to get, give me just one sec. Okay, this is where I actually wanted to start the post office part of it. I want to show you guys the inside. Anyways, back to the bar. Um, I was trying to film and show you guys the whole thing, but all the locals were like, what are you doing? Da -da 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 -da. So I had to stop and talk to them and, you know, we are locals, so. And this is the old local theater. Um, so when we were in high school here locally, I actually was in a play here in this theater. They have since the 90s, because we were teenagers in the 90s, they have since turned it into a really amazing um, actual theater. So we'll go in and show you guys around. So yes, this is the inside now. And again, I was in an actual play, an in-person play in here in the 90s, and now it is a full theater. Can, do you mind being on camera? No? Okay, it's okay. So we have this lovely lady here who's going to let you guys see one of the, um, what do we even say? Like one of the rooms, one of the theater, one of the theaters. One of the theaters. Um, so should we head up? Yeah, okay, five. theater five. And so now they have, what do you guys call your brand new seats? They're like, um, oh, they're yeah, they're recliners. I know it's dark in here, but I want to see if I can, oh, and look, so there's stairs. Okay, it's a little bit brighter up here, up the stairs, but this theater is so cute. And so look at these seats, you guys. Hopefully you can see this. Let's see if I can turn the flash on. No, I'm, I can't. But it's got these little things that spin out, you know, for your food. The seat actually, let's see. Well, anyways, it reclines. Let me see if I can figure that out. These buttons here, you just push. It's electronic. And your seat totally reclines. So it's a small little venue, not too many people. And um, here where it used to be a stage is a big screen. So yeah, definitely enjoy the theater. They did a lot of uh, revamping. It's got the soft, nice reclining seats and they serve food and beer and wine. And It's actually a really, I enjoy it thoroughly. This is a framing shop. We've taken you guys to Calaveras Big Trees before. Let's see if the glare, I don't know about the glare, but um, so you can look back um, on that video. We we need to get better about linking videos that we talk about in our, oh, this is, this is, an, is this the Italian restaurant? Yes. Um, so we haven't actually eaten here, babe. We need to. We do. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I'm not sure if we can even get a view of the inside. It's closed. But anyways, yeah, you guys can't see that. But we'll go in there one day and we'll film, we'll film that. We're, we're not filming every single little store and restaurant, but here's another good one we wanted to point out. This is Cascabel. This is a Mexican food restaurant and worth trying out. Who the heck are these two walking up? Two complete strangers? No! Tons of froggy monuments around here. See him? So cute. And then a little description of Angel's Camp, home of the Jumping Frog. We've done the Jumping Frog Jubilee for you guys now twice. Um, founded in 1849 by George Angel, hence Angel's Camp who established a mining camp and trading store 200 feet below this marker. So babe, would that be this building here? Uh, it's the one on the other side. Oh, okay, well let's walk down. So that would have been the first building established in 
you know, I don't know that they called it Angel's Camp at the time, but Angel, you know, Mr. Angel developed a camp. We do have some veterans that we have lost from the area and we thank them for their service. They are plastered around town. Um, oh, okay, so why does it say, oh, look at this car in here, you guys. After, can you even, I don't think you can see that, babe. I'm not sure that, oh wait, kind of, but there's this really old. There's a couple of them. Oh my gosh. That's like a 1929 or 30. Look at the, look at the wooden wheel that's all broken up on the ground. That's crazy. That is wild. Wild, wild. Okay, so back to, um, so this is the building, babe? I think. So I, we think this is the building, but we're not 100% sure. And there's not much to see about it, other than it's just a really old building. It doesn't look like it's from the 1800s, so I really don't know. But one of these old buildings around here was the first, what'd they say, mercantile? Yeah. Um, there is a creek. Actually, let's cross, baby, and show them the creek. This is Angel's Creek, and believe it or not, down the way a little bit, we drive down and we go to a different little area. Um, it's got a really deep, like, swimming hole. And so we do hop in there quite often, yeah. huh, baby? It was flooded over that porch. It was flooded over the that, porch. That patio. And we do have a, a, a video that we showed you guys the flooding of this winter because it was gnarly. We have lived here our entire lives and we are just now seeing this on this bridge. What does that say? So, oh, there goes a the car. 1909 Supervisors. Interesting. This is Napa, California at the bottom. They must be the builders of the bridge. Crazy. A couple of the old homes that we've always loved right near the creek. This old car that we're walking up to right now, I swear, has been here since we were tiny. I don't even know, but look at that thing. I was, I mean, it still looks like it's in actually really good shape. It doesn't look, I mean, there's some rust on the front right fender, which I don't know how easy that would be to repair because, you know, cars now, like the fenders are like separate, but this looks like it's, I don't know, like all one piece. More so than newer cars anyways. Look at that bumper. <laughs> That's crazy. That sucker would be so cool though, to restore and get going. We just had this really funny experience. We were looking back in one of the windows we had already filmed and we saw like these huge planks, really thick planks of, um, I guess it was plywood, huh babe? It was old shelving. Old shelving. And we were like, man, that's some good wood. We could make a project with that. And right as we were looking at that, we didn't realize it, but there was a logging truck going by behind us. And so we got this big whiff of like fresh cut wood. And so we were confused because we were like, there's no way we're smelling these, but anyways. We're weird. Um, this is the Angels Camp Trading Post, or Angels Creek, I'm sorry. Beautiful. This is actually a new company that we weren't familiar with until just a couple days ago, On the Lake Kayak Rentals. And then we've got Snack, um, Sierra Nevada Adventure Company in Sonora and Arnold and Murphy's. We're walking up, I don't know if you guys just heard Aaron kind of saying, but we're walking up on what used to be a Chinese settlement in Angel's Camp. So this is the last known building, or the last building, I mean, that is known, <laughs> um, of Chinatown. We're kind of getting a little glimpse of that. This building, once owned by Sam Choi, is the only building remaining from a large Chinese I'm sorry, from a large Chinese settlement here in early gold rush days. Now owned by the city of Angels Camp. So I'll give you a little, sh little look. I don't think like you can get inside or anything, but I mean, we're going to plow through the weeds. Actually, we can go around the other way. Want to go around this way, babe, and try to see the front of it? Yeah. 
So funny story, when we left Arnold, um, we lived in Arnold for years, and when we left Arnold, we were not sure about, uh, we didn't know about moving on to the family property that we are now on. I'm sorry? Are you the weeders? We are not the weeders. We are locals that love our town and we're recording it. Hi. So the neighbor to the uh, to this building just wanted to know if we were from the city because he's been waiting for them to come, I guess, weed, beautify it, beautify it which it should be. My Lord, look at this. It's, it's actually, it actually probably is, you know, I wish we could get inside and stuff because... Um, with a little TLC, this building really could. And look at the original brick, babe, That's underneath of this. Look what's on top of it. I know. I don't know. Understand what this is. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they would do that because Thank this is brick. so beautiful. This is so much more beautiful than this. Tell me. That's. Funny. I mean, that's just wild. And then it's, it's around the entire damn thing. It's like I don't know why someone would cover that gorgeous old brick up. We were just walking away and then we realized the back of the building is insane. So, ouch, just got poked by a weed. Um, look at that window, it's crazy. It's nice and cool back there. If we were in charge of this place, we would literally somehow create a way to be chilling back there. We're on the other side now. Um, this used to be Angel's Hotel. Um, what lake is that, babe? CC Lake? We're learning today, too. I don't know, but CC Lake erected here a canvas hotel in 1851. Oh! It was replaced by a one-story wooden structure and then by one of stone in 1855, with a second story being added in 1857. Here, Samuel Clemens first heard the yarn. Story. Oh which was later to bring him fame as Mark Twain. What? Yeah. Author of The Jumping Frog of Calaveras. See, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that Mark Twain's real name was Samuel Clemens. Why did they change his name? He did it. A lot he of did authors it. do that. Well, I guess you're right. I should know this, but Angel's Hotel. Apartments. So this is where he wrote it? Um, is that what it just said? the idea for it. Oh, interesting. So much history to this little town, you know, and it's literally in our backyard. We live Sound Temple. Huh. Okay, so it's literally in our backyard, just like Yosemite is in our backyard. This is more closer. I want to get a picture. I want to get a video of this little shirt. Oh, yeah, this is way closer. So we live just a few miles from downtown, um, and we just don't come here often enough. Independent Order of Odd Fellows. So if you guys ever see those signs, um, I, yeah, I oof. You'll see it everywhere. That's what it means. Independent Order of Odd Fellows. So this was developed in 1887, home of Hope Lodge. And Gold Court Rebecca, Calaveras Encampment, Ladies Encampment Auxiliary, Princess Parlor, Native Daughters of the Golden West. Oh, and then I oof Hope Lodge. Number 33. It's a lot of reading here, and we're not going to read it all to you guys because that could get very boring unless you're like a history buff. But there's the Ayuf. You know, a lot of people see that and they don't know what it means. It's actually like a legitimate, I don't know if you'd call it a club, but. It's an order. It's an order. Hi. <laughs> this is cute. Don't hate, meditate. but some fun statues here. Look at Mark Twain's head. Dude, it's so rad in there. It's so rad in there, Aaron says. Look. Well, we can't see through the glare. Let me try to find a better view. Okay, so now we've literally put the camera up to the door so you guys can see in there, but that's amazing. I would love to open, I don't know, like a bar slash ice cream shop slash sitting nook to read slash upstairs library that'd be fun fun fun
And it would also have like a little thrift store. <laughs> this is a pretty fascinating story about someone who followed his childhood sweetheart from Belgium to Angel's Camp, married her, and I guess her uncle was here, had created a homestead in the 1850s. Anyways, they had eight children. They were all born here in Angel's Camp, probably at home. I don't think that there was even any sort of like birthing center or anything at that point in time. I'd have to look, but um, I don't believe so. It was all just home births and a lot of a lot of uh, deaths during delivery. So Red Ridge Restaurant, Red Ridge Restaurant. If you guys didn't hear that, this is the new restaurant that has um, all these different like mimosas, all these crazy mimosa flavors so we'll come test those out one day um it looks like it's gonna be a pretty fun time lemon tree we've been here we've actually filmed here a little bit this is one of our favorite little spots to grab a coffee and um gosh scones huh babe yes we do they have sweatshirts and t-shirts pretty fun one of the i think four salons in town but look at this i'm gonna see if i can get this chandelier not really but it's really cool stories and stones uh fun fact used to be downtown murphy's in the current building that sierra nevada adventure company is in now and they have moved let's see if i can get gosh it's so hard with the glare but you guys so many different um so many different stones all kinds of different stuff. Our kiddo loves to shop here. Turner's Wild West has been here forever. I don't even know, since I can remember. Look at this crazy door. So for all of your Western needs, obviously we have a lot of ranchers, a lot of horse owners, a lot of cowboys. We grew up with the owner's kids. Yep, we grew up with the owner's kids. There's a lot of opportunities to pan for gold in the local gold rush areas. Um, Jamestown being one of the biggest ones, I think, but look at the old gold miner. And then we opened this earlier, um, pan for gold. It does have like gold pans and different things in it. So not sure if you guys can see this, but this is called the Darby Nugget. Darby's, you know, the Darby's are huge here. We grew up with Wilbur. Several. Several Darby's, yeah. but. Um, yeah, so that's the Darby Nugget. That was a replica, to be more specific, of the Darby Nugget. <laughs> that's, this is the Yummy Haha -ha ice cream. Alright, and this is the oldest building in Angel's Camp. The oldest surviving building. Uh, survived two fires back a long time ago. Can't tell you the exact dates. Um, but the oldest building in Angel's Camp. Met a nice fella who's uh, working on it. Just history. Lots and lots of histories. And thumbs up. So we had a good day today. We went uh, around our, our hometown. Or, yeah. Um, well, Aaron grew up in Arnold. I grew up in Angel's Camp. So but, technically my hometown, but we've both grown up here, like in Calaveras County. But we both went to high school here in, in Angels yeah. Camp, so um, it was pretty cool. You know, you, you can drive by stuff a million times and be and you know think that it's cool, but not till you get out and kind of walk around and take the time to look at stuff. Do you, you know, get to appreciate it like the uh, like the Chinatown section? Yeah. Um, we saw a lot of stuff that we normally wouldn't like pay attention to, so that was really cool. Um, so it's a nice, like, cool evening here, which is very cool, very, not cool, but cause I can't say cool a million times, but very nice because we're typically like boiling right now, but the really intense winter has allowed for a lot of snow runoff, and I think that that's adding to the great temperatures. Anyways. It's one theory. Cheers to Angel's Camp. It's one theory. It's not the truth. <laughs> mm. Baby, what are you having? Mm. Two hearted IPA with a big old fish on it covering the fish head. You gotta move your fingers. Yeah. It is the two hearted IPA. Um, 
from the Bell's Brewery out of Michigan, Comstock, Michigan, Comstock, Michigan. <laughs> and I'm having a nice just blush. So dental anyways, plan. Yeah. All right, you guys. Until next time. Peace.